Um, now, there's another problem in Albania at the moment. Um, I know you were born in the US, but I also know you're very proud of your roots. Um, and it bothers me as well. You know, up to 80% of Albanian youth want to leave the country. And I understand for many reasons. You know, there's problems with poverty and, and employment, or they feel disillusioned. But as I've seen with what's happening in the UK, with a lot of Albanians going there, a lot of them get sucked into working in um, drugs or in other illicit industries or even just the informal sector. Um, I think they also have the idea that it's quite an exciting life, it's quick money, etc. What is the dark realities? We touched on this earlier, but I want you to explain to me, you know, to these young people who want to leave, they think they can go to London, work in a cannabis farm, and this is going to solve all their problems. What are the realities of working in Crime, what are the dangers? What are the risks? Well, again, it's maturity. See, they're young when they when they get themselves into these lifestyles. As they get older, they'll start. Some of them will start falling back out. But the the reality is, there is no shortcut. And anybody that thinks there's a shortcut, are going to meet guys like me that spent almost 20 years in jail. Well, they're going to get killed. And it's the emotional pain that they're not recognizing yet. The physical pain we can accept, uh, the physical pain uh, of getting hurt or, or even getting killed is something that happens. But to overcome the emotional pain and the, the stress on your family, on other families, and some of the things that come alongside it. Uh, when you're in prison, losing family members while you're there, those are the hard things that the kids don't see the reality of it. That's really interesting you say that, actually, because, you know, the emotional pain side of things is not something that people are very open in talking about. You know, I hear the saying, a real man swallows his pain, you know, when you're talking about these kinds of things. Are you comfortable to explain a bit more about the stress and how the impact that this sort of life has on you? Because people, especially Albanian men, they, they won't talk about this seriously. Well, you know what I don't understand is Albanian men are are very family oriented. Albanians themselves are very family oriented. So to leave your kids, you got to understand, to leave your kids like I do is one of the most difficult things on your kids' lives. On our lives, we can adjust. So when, when a man doesn't want to show his emotions, I don't really understand that because we are emotional. Our country has big hearts. I talk about it all the time. We're also very tough. So it's a good and bad combination because we're very passionate. And if somebody does something wrong to us, we're, we're very reactive. Uh, we don't think, we just jump. And that's a bad thing. We need to learn to control ourselves, which over the years I've learned now how to control myself. Before, I just, the first thought that came into my head was violence. Now I learned to act different, talk different, and uh, accept things different. So there is hope to change that sort of reactive mentality, that, that passion that you can become more self-aware, rein it in and, and change, you know, because we say in Gesha Leopard never changes his spots. But you think that by accepting these emotions, and, uh, it's not an unmanly thing and it, it can be used to change. Yeah, I mean, most men, unless they're going to lie, they'll go on a run, maybe they'll cry by themselves, but they're going to let emotions and there's nothing wrong with that. Mm. That doesn't make you any less of a man. And actually I think it makes you more of a man. So the mentality of being insecure about showing your emotions, if something happens to your mom or, or your kids, like my daughter, I lost my daughter and everybody knows I'm very emotional about that. Maybe not in, on television, but in my own personal world I am, in front of my personal family I am. So it's just the reality of, of Albanians. We, we love and will die for our family. So showing emotions is just normal.